Hey guys, so we're here at the Civil War Museum in Richmond, Virginia. Pretty cool, got like a little water wheel thing. We're gonna go inside and check out the museum. If we can bring the camera along, we're gonna take you guys along. If not, we'll tell you about it when we get out. There's lots going on, lots of hustle and bustle. The weird bikini photo shoot thing going on over there, which is kind of, kind of weird, but you know, everybody's having fun. It's a beautiful day out. And uh, let's go check it out. Okay, so we're inside the Civil War Museum, and this is how much a Union officer's uniform costs. In 1861, it was $34.66, or $989.52 today. I would love to buy just a pair of shoes for us. Can I get a pair of shoes for a buck ninety-eight? Probably not. All the different currencies. Temporarily removed <laughs> means it must be somewhere else. No. <laughs> Killed by Mexicans, Kempe and Sword. Captain William H. Cleaver of 7th Texas Cavalry. Supposedly killed by Mexicans during 1862 New Mexico campaign. That's bad sword. Yeah. That's ship armor. We hmm. could take the study with. Can we not talk about stabbing me? No. Presidential election 1864. Yeah, Detroit voted for McClellan. I think it's a piece of the 1865 sword and flag. Can I get some Confederate money? <laughs> All right, let's head back downstairs. Oh, these are Robert E. Lee's <clears throat> sword belt. What about the boots? The boots. They have spurs on them. They have spurs. The boots. Robert E. Lee. Yeah, those are Robert E. Lee's. The boots with the spurs. <laughs> that was stinky, that probably. <laughs> Muskets, all the different type of revolvers. It's a thing. It's cannon. See, now there's the guns they use. See, they had the bayonet attached to the tip. Mm -hmm. So when you fired your shot and you missed the guy, you stabbed him with the bayonet. <laughs> cool. <laughs> Benjamin F. Eckel. Eckel of the 14th Virginia Cavalry. That's really heavy. Was it, it was made out of wool? No words can describe the horrors around me. Two men dead and covered with blood were carried down the stairs as I waited. I found my dear husband lying on a stretcher. There's the Potomac. Fairfax. Fort Sumter was fired upon some, so it would be all over soon. Those fellows down south are big bluffers. They'd rather talk than fight. I'm not so sure about that. Sally Tompkins and Susan King Taylor. Elizabeth Smith, morning dress. Field glasses by Robert E. Lee. Captain William Wright was carrying this canteen when he was shot at the Battle of Glendale. It's got a hole in it. I like the pipe. 
Union Naval Officer aboard the USS Congress surrendered this cutlass. Oh man. You really gotta be a limb cut off with that. Huh? They use, that's what they use to cut off limbs. That saw. Oof. Anesthesia. Whiskey and bite down on this. <laughs> Pocket watch. Charles Plumacher refused to wear this watch he purchased after the war. A veteran of the 20th New York Infantry, Plumacher learned the watch was stolen from a dead Confederate officer during the Battle of Antino. Battle of Chancellorsville. The friendly fire that killed Jackson also struck this notebook and killed its owner. Look at that. Hey guys, so that is the Civil War Museum. Brought you guys along for most of it. I didn't do the whole thing because if you want to see it, you got to come here yourself and check it out. Lots of cool stuff in there, lots of cool artifacts and stuff. We're going to hit the road and start heading home. We're going to get on 250 and maybe we might stumble across something else that might be cool to stop and check out. So. Okay guys, so on our quest to find souvenirs, we found this cool little t spot of town that's like got a bunch of shops on it and restaurants and... It's like back in a city. A little bit. They got used records in there? I don't know. Let's oh, go back. Good. Let's go in here. What's this place? Walkabout Outfitters. All right, let me put my mask on here. Hang on a second. Okay, so we're on our way home from Richmond, and uh, we're all done. We did the Science Museum. We did the Civil War Museum. We took you guys along a little bit. It wasn't too exciting. It wasn't nearly as exciting as we hoped it'd be, but, you know, hey, that's all part of the trip, right? We hit up that little strip of town uh, where they had, like, a bunch of boutiques and stuff, so we hit that up, and that was kind of cool. Thanks for tuning in, guys, and thanks for checking out the scenic route. See ya. Thank you.